Hey everyone, welcome back to new video of Cybrosis. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to import and export Ventables in Odoo 17. Exporting of the Ventables to create backup of your financial data. And you can also share information. You can just export the Ventables to share them with the third parties. And importing helps for bulk creations like importing Ventables allow you to quickly create many bills at once rather manually entering them individually. This also helps in data migration and data updations. Now let's see how can we perform the importing and exporting of Ventables in Odoo 17. For that you can just get into the accounting module. In the accounting module we have a, a tab called vendors where you can choose the bills. This shows up currently available. So in order to export the data you can just go to the here icon and click on export so that a file will be downloaded. Now let's view the file. So here you can see all the details of the exported Ventable which uh, shows the sequence reference number, invoice partner display, the due date uh, as well as the invoice or will date, then reference activities, untaxed amount, total signed and there are many other details. So uh, while importing the data we can also uh, just customize fields like we can just select the fields that we want to export or import while we need to manage with our ventables so you can easily manage that let's move on to the uh, Odoo platform and here uh, we are now going to just export the fields that we uh, require so in order to do that you can just choose uh, one of the build frame here and click on action and you can see a button uh, or yeah export over here and here you can also see the available fields as well as the fields we export so Odoo provides two formats of exporting uh, such as XLS as well as CSV so if you just enable I want to update data that is import compatible export then Odoo will give you the external ID and that will help you to uh, map which means uh, this will automatically map the column fields with the Odoo fields so you don't need to manually um, just map the uh, column fields with the Odoo fields. And here you can see the files to export um, or the fields to export. Uh, like uh, you can just um, add the fields that you need to export in your XLS file or CSV file. Now here we can find another option that is template and template help you to just add a particular uh, group of fields into a single uh, format so that you can just use that format or template at any time so you don't need to spend much time on creating uh, or exporting every fields from the scratch so here you can see that we have already created a template which is uh, called wet double so we will be getting the number that is the sequence uh, reference of uh, uh, vendable and we need to get the partner payment terms as well as the invoice lines accounts invoice lines currency, invoice lines product, invoice lines quantity, uh, then units of measure as well as unit price. Now we also need to get the bill date uh, because we need to find when we have just made this winter bill and we can just click on export so that a file will be downloaded later on you can just close this and let's review the file and let's make uh, some alterations in the file and we need to update a new data or we need to just import a new data into our Odoo database so let's check that now let's change the uh, sequence number of this bill and here we are just going to change the uh, build reference number as 55 and let's change the partner name so here I'll be changing uh, the name of partner and here you can set the payment term as the end of the following month and you can use the invoice lines or accounts uh, as well as the currency and let's change the product which will be only we want wooden chair and let it be wooden chair then what else we require we need to change uh, the product and let's yeah choose the uh, product as Odo book and let's move on to the quantities and here you can find the quantity so here we want four chair and we want one order book and you can see that the units of measurement will be units itself and here you can provide the price so uh unit price is uh 10 and let the price of order book be 99 dollar and here you can also provide the bill date uh 
So let me change the build date into 20. So, okay, all set. Later on, you can just save the file. Now let's move on to the Odoo platform in order to import this record into our database. So here you can choose, uh, uh, yeah, in order to uh, just import the record, first you have to unselect the record that you have selected from this vendor build. Then only you can just import your record. Now let's move on to the um, yeah gear icon and choose import records. Later on, you can just click on upload file. And when you just move on to the uh, downloads here, you can find uh, the uh, file that we have just downloaded. And uh, you can choose the file, which is a uh, journey entry. Um, and choose the file and let's click on test to get that whether there are in any errors when we just try to upload this file. So click on test and this shows the blocking errors. So if uh, there are any errors that will be shown over here. Now you can see that we don't have a partner called Jacob. So we need to create a new partner. So for that you can just choose a value to be matched like create a new value. And as you just drag down, you can see we don't have a product called wooden share. Now we need to create a new value while importing. So you can just create a new value and let's click on test. So you can see that everything seems to be valid now. Now let's import the record into our Odoo database. And you can see that we have just imported one record. And you can now review the uh, data, I mean the data that we have just loaded. That is the vendor name, the build reference and all other details such as the product details, uh, accounts affected as well as the quantity and all other details will be uh, updated here. So this is how we manage with the importing and exporting of the vendors in Odoo 17. Uh, so I hope this video clarifies how to use uh, the importing and exporting of vendors. So if you require any Odoo customization or any Odoo tutorials, feel free to contact Cybrosis. Thank you for watching the video.